Good morning, one and all. This is Batna Priya, Assistant Professor in CSE Department of RMD Engineering College. Today, we are going to see the topic GSM services under the subject CS8601 mobile computing. In GSM, there are three service domains and they are bearer services, steady services, supplementary services. Now, let us see these services in detail. All the telecommunication services has to transfer the data between the access points. And all these telecommunication services is being taken care by this bearer services. And these services are being specified to the first three layers in the OSI layer. Different data rates for voice and data should be done. So here we are going to have two types of bearer services. One is transparent barrel services and non-transparent barrel services. Transparent barrel services use only the physical layer to do the transmission of data. And for the error corrections, for error control and error directions and corrections, we make use of this forward error correction mechanism only. And it makes use of the circuit switched network to do the transmission. And there is a constant delay and the throughput. Whereas in non-transparent barrel services, it makes use of protocols layer 2 and 3 to implement the error correction and flow control. And the data is being sent through the packet switched network under non-transparent barrel service. The next service is teleservices. Now all the telecommunication services must enable voice communication through the mobile phones. So the offered services are mobile telephony, that is, the primary goal of GSM was to enable the mobile telephony offering traditional bandwidth of 3.1 kilohertz. The next one is emergency number. So if case of any emergency, we should be able to contact the emergency numbers at free of cost. And in Europe, they followed a common number 112 for the emergency number. And this is a mandatory service for all the service providers. And it is of free of charge and the connection is with highest priorities. That is, it preempts all the other connections and enables this particular emergency number to be connected immediately. The next offered service is multi-numbering. That is, a user is able to make or to make connect several ISDN phone numbers at a time. And all these basic services have to obey cellular functions and security measurements. The other additional services, apart from the emergency number, uh, voice, uh, voice data and all, is the non-voice teleservices. In non-voice teleservices, we will be having three, uh, or the extended one is, that is the fax, sending the fax messages and sending voice mailbox which has been implemented in the fixed network supported by the mobile terminals and was also able to send the emails, which is using this MHS message handling system, which is implemented in the fixed network and the SMS. So SMS is a, like an alphanumeric data transmissions, which is of 160 characters using the signaling channel, which allows simultaneous use of the basic services. And uh, this SMS, now it has been added on more number of features and um, it is being replaced by the IP-based messaging. The next service is the supplementary services. The services in addition to the basic services and which cannot be offered standalone are called supplementary services. These services are similar to the ISDN services besides the lower bandwidth due to the radio link. And it also differs between different service providers, countries and protocol versions. The important services which is under supplementary services are identification. So we will be able to identify the caller and uh, using the caller ID and the forwarding of the caller number. Call forwarding is, able, is enabled. Suppression of the number forwarding, automatic call back, call back, fixed number dialing, conferencing with up to seven participants and locking of the mobile terminal. That is the incoming and outgoing calls can be locked. So these and all other services which is coming under the supplementary services. Thank you.